So I've been asked to set up some Palo Alto firewall images in VMware Workstation. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and where to go and get the image that I've used. So let's get started. First I'll show you a little bit how I got my network set up. I'm going to be using this network, NAT18, so this is my subnet that I'm going to be using for the Palo Alto is 192.168.10.x with a 24-bit mask. I'm using this VM right here. So name this. Let that import. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, so now this is imported. I want to make a few changes. As I said, I want to be using my VNet 8. And I'm actually going to disable this. And that's all good. Let's go ahead and power it up and let it go to town. I'm guessing this can take several minutes. So I guess we have to be very patient. While that's booting up, let's boot up this Ubuntu as well just so we can test connectivity between them and see if we can get to it. All right, the default would be admin, admin. It always gives that for some reason, but I know the credentials are correct. I want to give it a few minutes to think. While this boots up, I'll let the other one continue doing its thing. Try this again. Really strange. Hmm. See? It takes several times, but I know the password was correct. Okay. So first thing we need to do here is get into configure. And now we're in configuration mode, so now we have to set the IP address. Before we do that, let's go back and do show interface management. C 
see, obviously, this is on the wrong network, 192.168.1.1. So let's correct that. So in order to set the you know, IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway, we're going to go ahead and type in this command. So let's set device config system IP hyphen address. And we're going to give this, this the address to the firewall. And next, we're going to do the mask. It's a 24-bit mask. And then the default gateway. And then the gateway is going to be okay, and then next will be the oops, sorry, DNS settings. And the DNS settings will I'm just going to use Google's for their primary. And that's that. So that's the command to set the IP address for the interface for the router or the firewall. And now before we do that, we have to save it. So when I write the commit command, let that do its thing. Okay, so now let's go verify that. Let's X out here and do show interface management. Now that's the correct IP. Perfect. So now let's go to a, the Ubuntu and let's open up terminal. See, see, we're on that same network. So now let's see if we can ping 192.168.10.200. All right, so we're getting successful pings. So now let's go ahead and open up. Let's make this larger. Now HTTPS on black. Dot two hundred. Looks like we're going to be successful. All right, so. All right, so we can get to the firewall. Let's make sure our admin admin credentials work. Looks like it's working. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and go to, so you can see the, all the IP information, the default gateway, it's on VMworks, I'm utilizing Workstation. Let's go to device, go to administrators, this is our admin. Let's add, I want to add Patrick as myself and just put a little password. I want to have him as a super user. That's fine. Add this. Let's commit these changes. Commit. And then we're going to try to log in as me on the firewall to make sure that took. And that's pretty much it to getting your firewall up and running. Okay, successful. Let's go. Okay. Let's go back to the firewall. And then I want X out of here. Now I'm gonna put it Patrick, my fancy password. And it looks like I'm in. So we are good to go. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a wonderful day, everyone.